before I get into how to perfect parry and perfect dodge, I'm going to show you a simple trick to learn every single starting combo. The first thing you want to do is open up your skill tree and go down towards the combos. You'll notice 4 light combos all starting with square on the left side and then 4 heavy attack combos which start with triangle going down. These are the basic combos that you'll be using throughout the game, at least for now. Now if you head to any camp and toggle the skill machine, you can hover above any of the skills and press square to take you to the training area so you can practice anything you like. I'm going to go over all the light attacks first which all start with square and I'll show you the simple trick that I use to learn them all easily. So the way I see it is this, the first combo starts with square and then it's followed by all triangles. Then if you look at the second combo, it starts with two squares this time and then followed by all triangles again. And then lastly I'm going to skip the third combo and go to the fourth one because I noticed that this time it starts with three squares and then the remaining are all triangles. I'm guessing you got the hint. So to put it simply, you either press square once, twice or three times and then spam triangles for the remainder of the combo until it's finished. At this point you only have one remaining combo to learn and it just alternates between square and triangle constantly. But all you need to remember is that it's a light attack so it starts with square then alternate triangle square triangle. I wouldn't spam this one though because you need to let each attack connect so be patient and press the buttons casually and it will work. Before you realize it you've just memorized every light combo there is. However I wouldn't recommend using all of them because some of them can leave you vulnerable while you're attacking. Instead pick two combos that you like and get used to using them so it becomes like muscle memory. Light attacks are fast though weaker but you're less likely to get stuck in attack animations and you'll have more of a chance to parry or evade incoming attacks. Lastly I should probably mention that you can also just press square four times for the neutral combo which isn't in the skill tree though it's not very flashy or strong. As you may have guessed I use a similar mental approach to how I remember the heavy attack combos too. They all start with triangle and they are your heavy and more powerful attacks but generally you'll be stuck in an attack animation longer so you want to use these when you know the enemy or boss is staggered or if you may be attacking from behind. There's also one bonus combo that's not even in the skill tree so I'll show you that after these four heavy combos. Now the first combo in the list is pretty straightforward triangle three times. I personally like this because it does decent damage and looks pretty sick. Next I'm going to skip to the fourth combo and the reason is because if you remember the alternating light attack I just went over before well this is just like that. All you need to remember is that it's a strong attack meaning start with triangle and then just alternate square triangle square triangle. I link the two alternating combos together in my head like this because it's easy to remember. In a fight it's just up to you if you want to hit light or hit hard. If you're with me so far then you've done pretty well because there's literally only two strong combos left to learn and they're easy because it's the same button input for both combos. The first variation is triangle square square triangle. The second variation is triangle square and then press and hold square triangle. At first they can be a bit overwhelming to see so many combos but if you look at it like this it's a lot easier to memorize at least for me it is. At this point practice makes perfect. Don't try use every single combo at first just pick two or three combos that you like and keep using them and eventually your fingers will just push the buttons on their own. Now I mentioned earlier that there's a bonus combo that's not in the skill tree. And this one's an air combo. If an enemy does a sort of sweep attack or any attack that can be evaded by jumping, you can do two, three or four light attacks in the air and then finish with triangle to rush down towards the enemy. So you don't always have to use the blink skill to dodge behind. If you want to put a bit of style in your plate then it's always good to change things up now and then. Now that you've pretty much learned all the combos, I'll just briefly touch on a few important points about the beta special attacks. There's only four specials at the moment and three of them can be upgraded to add a second follow up attack, but they do require two full burst energy bars to use. These these bars are refilled as you do standard attacks and also when you parry. A full bar is also used when you do a parry or dodge counter which I'll go over later so it's important to manage this and not just spam your specials. They're simple to do, just keep hold of L1 and either press square, triangle, circle or X. My personal favourite is L1 square to use the rapid attack special. When you upgrade the skill you can follow it up with a second strike. Just keep hold of L1 and press square again, so twice, one after another. And it's the same for the other specials too. L1 circle is a powerful special that sends enemies flying away, you can also follow this up with a rush attack keeping hold of triangle to keep beating them down and keep the pressure on. L1X and L1 triangle are the two that can be charged if you keep hold of the buttons. The L1 triangle special can attack enemies in the area in front of you and can either charge the first attack or the second attack but not both in the same move. As for L1X, this is the shield breaker move. You can press L1X for a single hit or charge it for a double hit. You don't actually need to buy an upgraded skill for the second follow up attack for this special. The L1 shield breaker special is good to drain an enemy's shield health. It does a good amount of stagger damage which will get you closer to that critical. Hit. In summary, you should use the right special depending on if you're fighting a single enemy or a group or an enemy with a good shield. Again, good times to use them are when an enemy is staggered, after parries, dodges and special counters. Now before I give some super useful tips on how to perfect dodge and perfect parry, there are a few things you can do to make them all a whole lot easier. The first thing is on the skill tree, you can see that after unlocking parry and dodge, there's an upgraded skill which makes parries and dodges even easier to do, so you want to unlock these. The second thing is based on your gear and equipment, if you look at the exo spine, some equipment will make it so that parries and dodges are even easier to do. Though I wouldn't recommend this unless you're really struggling because in my opinion it's not that hard to parry and 
dodge in this game once you know the tricks behind it which I'm going to show you. Equipping this XO Spine, you'll be missing out on other options which can make you stronger or give you a better defense, but ultimately it's up to you. The last thing for now is that certain gears may help too. I like to equip gears that increase the speed of my melee attacks because it means I'm less likely to get stuck in an attack animation, allowing me to have a better chance to parry or evade an incoming attack. Now you may not have access to these equipment right at the start of the game, and there may be even better gear later on, so it may seem harder to pull off these parries and dodges at first, but once you have these things, perfect parrying and dodging may just become too easy. With that out of the way, I'm going to go over my best tips on how to perfect parry, dodge and counter. Luckily, Stellar Blade is a bit more generous with the timing of perfect parries and dodges in my opinion, and the timing to do them are near enough the same. So if you know when to parry, then you know when to dodge, and vice versa. But there's something even more important than timing that will make dodges and parries even easier, and I'll go over that a little later. The first bit of advice I'd give is to not try and dodge every single move. When it comes to the timing, you'll notice that the majority of enemies so far have this little wind up animation where they raise their weapon and pause for half a second. Literally towards the end of that mini pause they do, that is your cue to press parry or dodge. You can even see the stalker boss from the demo, when he jumps in the air, you can see he pauses for half a second, just towards the end of his pause is your sign to dodge. This half a second pause usually happens when enemies just do a singular attack so you can instantly counter it, but the thing to look out for is when enemies do combos, but you'll naturally start to recognise this after fighting them a few times. When maybe a 2 or 3 hit combo is incoming, you'll often notice how they pause for about a second instead of half a second, so you just need to hold off a half a second longer before you dodge or parry, and probably if you notice a combo coming, it may be better to parry instead of dodging. This probably won't work on every single enemy combo, but it will help you get used to that timing quicker for when the game does get harder. Now you obviously can't dodge too late or too early, but to me, I feel as though you want to be more on the early side of dodging. If you try to dodge an attack at the absolute last second, you often get hit, and the same goes for perfect parries, but keep that in mind for the perfect timing. I'd also recommend going to the training area to practice this for yourself. The perfect parries on the other hand, I want to go into a little bit more detail. There's two parts to successful parrying. The first one is timing, which I just went over, same as the perfect dodge. The second thing, is rhythm. I will 100% say that rhythm is more important than timing itself and I'll show you why with examples. Take this 4 hit combo from the stalker boss. He does 1 hit, then pauses, then 2 consecutive hits, then pauses, then 1 more hit. So the rhythm in my head is 1, 1, 2, one. With a bit of practice, you'll see that after the first hit, it's like a half a second pause before the next two parries, but his last hit takes a bit longer to come and you have to wait near a whole second before the final parry. So again it looks like this, one, pause, one, two, pause, one. So the point I'm trying to get at is, don't just fight enemies and bosses randomly, look at their attack patterns and try to learn them so you can parry to their rhythm. If you remember what I said earlier about incoming combos, sometimes you can see the start up animation of an enemy ready to do a combo, meaning wait about a second before you parry, then just remember the rhythm of for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, pause, 1 with this combo, but this isn't always going to be the case. Some combos will come thick and fast, but as long as you know the rhythm, even if you get hit on the first move, you can still adjust your timing and join the rhythm for the rest of the parries, like this one I just showed. Similarly, this basic shield enemy does a 3 hit combo as well. The rhythm is 1, pause, 1, 2. You can even see its wind up animation, how it goes wide and pauses. Towards the end of this pause is your timing to parry, then use the rhythm of 1, 1, 2. Now I know this is meant to be a beginner guide to get you going, but if you want to take things to the next level, then you can try this after you get used to parrying. Some enemies do a really slow combo with what feels like massive pauses between each hit, but instead of waiting to time the next parry, you can add a light or strong attack depending on how long the pause is. I would only do this though if you 100% have the rhythm down of the combo you're about to parry and you're confident. But this is quite advanced so you don't have to do this. In my opinion, the reason why many reviews and people say Stellar Blade is a lot like Sekiro is because of the way it parries, and I have to agree. I make a lot of Sekiro videos and it involves a lot of perfect parrying with rhythm, and it's done almost exactly the same way, so these tips should be enough to get you good at parrying and dodging in no time. However, there's one last thing to go over and that's the parry and dodge counters. These are very straightforward but there's a right time to use it so I'll go over it quickly. You'll need to unlock the skill and its upgrade to do all the variations. Doing them requires a full burst energy bar and these refill by doing standard attacks and successful parries. So try to manage these bars. After any successful parry or dodge, you can either keep a hold of square or triangle to initiate a counter attack. For any singular enemy attacks like I mentioned before, you can counter instantly and go crazy. Just remember that square always does light attacks, so when you're countering in square, it's going to be more of a light attack counter, which you can then convert into combos. Triangle, on the other hand, is your standard heavy attack, so if you counter with triangle, it will be more of a one hit staggering counter attack. This also applies to the perfect dodge counters as well. One very useful tip you should know is that if a three or four hit combo is incoming, and if you counter after the first hit, there's a chance that your counter may not stop the enemy from doing his full combo, and you might still take damage. So it's better to try parry the whole combo, and on the final parry, use the counter special. That said, 
said, the triangle counter does do some good knockback, so if you use this one, it can sometimes stop the enemy from continuing his combo. Now obviously there's a lot more skills and abilities to unlock throughout the game, but as a beginner guide, I think these tips will help you get more than good at Stellar Blade really fast. Just remember the easy way to memorise combos and always think about the rhythm for perfect parries. If you found this video helpful, leave a like and don't forget to sub if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.